Now, if I were you, which well. arguably I am, I'd be asking myself in a gormless sort of voice, did that bridge really collapse, or is my good friend Clarence just playing an hilarious jape? The answer, monkey man, is that I don't even know myself. One way to find out, please, don't get us killed. Right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another round of Penumbra, Black Plague and um, I'm trying to remember where the hell I am outside that is, but uh, there was an ice bridge that collapsed there other than that what was I supposed to be doing? not really these to-do list is empty. Okay, so I, j I guess I just need to move forward. <coughs> I'm sorry, my voice is a little gone. Uh, I could do with a hot cup of tea, but we all know what happens when we make tea. Okay. Some boards. There's a lot of stuff in here. Also, the cold hurts. <laughs> that seems like a mightily bad idea, but it could work. It might. Or I have to pile stuff down there. I'm going to try jumping on these. What's the worst that can happen? It works. It works. Haha. <laughs> That's the way I came. Let's go here. Fire, make fire. Thank you. When I was a kid, we hold a lighter to an aerosol and go torch some insects. Of course, I'm beyond that sort of thing nowadays. No, you're not. Ooh. Oops. Frozen. Well, I can see where this is going. I'm gonna go warm up. Whoa. Why is the world shaking? The bridge was moving, okay. Let's jump on that. He's trying to get rid of memories of red for some reason. I'm not sure I understand why. Hello. Right. What's these? Barrels filled with gasoline. Well, I can see where this is going. Sure, nobody will notice if there's anyone inside. I mean, come on, it's just a couple bits of gasoline. I can't stand. Oops. Some alcohol. Then we light it on fire. Then we run. Run like the wind. Whoa. Right. Okay, I'm guessing we go back inside and we either find more of those zombie guys or dogs. Neither of which sounds very uh, enjoyable. Oh yes, this this looks promising. The loading screen already looks promising. 
Uh, I'm not really sure I can make it through this game. I'm terrified. Okay, so, on the to-do list. Find this damsel in distress, mm. kill the bad guys, cure infection, save the world. Chances of success? Nil. Chances of survival? Well, you've got old Clarence on board. That should speak for itself. Chances of you buggering things up royally? Almost certain. Thanks, Clarence. So where the hell are we? Can't go back, so I guess we have to go forward. comfortable with this place. I think there's a map on the wall. I don't hear anything. So I guess there's nobody here. Kennel! Oh boy, oh boy. Examination room, chemical laboratory. this up for some reason. Uh, I wish I had weapons. I really, really do. This place is huge. Thanks for that. Where am I? I'm guessing I came from the south exit, so I'm here. Thought I heard something. Yeah, I'm here. I can go forward to research facility. And through there, there's some rooms, examination area, some more rooms. To the kennels, rooms, 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 rooms. Holy shit, this place is huge. Chemical research lab. Where am I supposed to go? I mean, I guess I need to find that that girl who I've been talking to. Oh boy. This reminds me of Resident Evil for some reason. Zombies crashing through windows. Or dogs. Nothing. Great. Just great. You turn Oosh. up here is probably the second best thing to happen to me since I've been down here. I'm reserving first place for when we get out. So, I'm not big-headed enough to think you came all the way here just to rescue me. I wasn't lying, though. I think I've worked out how to disinfect you. But, you probably saw this coming. It's not quite as simple as all that. Okay. I had to engage the failsafe on the research rooms to seal myself in here. And that means... We need a key card to get me out. Okay. One of the personnel, one of the infected ones, tried to get in with a card, but I don't know where he or where it went. Oh no. I I need you, and well, if you do get me out, I'll give you the biggest hug of your life. <laughs> Christ! Go here, go there, fetch this from me a bath. Typical broad, 
atypical circumstances. You think fate has anything to do with this? Fate is merely the war cry of those too scared to think for themselves. Clarence, shut up. I'm getting tired of you. Okay, so I need to find a key card to enter a research room where she is, and the key card's with an infected person. Well, that's not... How the hell do I get... A trail of blood? Where? I don't see a trail of blood. What is my character talking about? The hell? There's one really weird thing about this place that's been bothering me all, all this time. I mean, it's in the middle of of Iceland, literally the world of ice, land of ice, whatever. I've yet to see a single set of warm clothes. The research staff is either wearing lab coats, mostly lab coats. In the start of the first game, I saw a couple of pairs of warm snow boots. Oh, there's the blood he was talking about. This place is huge. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Where the hell do I go? I've no idea. And I'm scared shitless. Because whenever anything comes at me, I'll just run away like a scared little girl. Examination room, research room, chemical laboratory, kennel. I don't know. Well, I don't want to go to the kennel. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, shit, my neighbor's doing something loud. I don't want to do this. There's a map, but it's too dark. Turn on any lights. Oh god, I hate this game. All. I hate it so much. This way? That way? Hell if I know. <laughs> Movement! There was movement. There was movement. There was movement. There was movement. Fuck. Uh. Oh, fuck. There's one of those guys with the flashlight. Fucking go in there. I have no idea where to go, where I can hide. I have no weapons. Ah. Ah. Why do I torture myself like this? Okay, maybe I'll go in this direction instead. This is any better? Hell if I know. There's a door. Oh 
God. I can hear one of those things. My heart is beating like a million beats per minute right now. It's just going ape shit. Okay, the kennels might. I could go that way. There was another passage over there somewhere, but. I hear it again. Where is it? I wish this was Metal Gear Solid, I'd have a radar or something. The archaic would never ask that employees work longer than the recommended eight hour shift. Fuck you! He understands that enthusiasm for their work and dedication to the team may often motivate them to do so. Thank you for not letting us down. Fuck you! There's a door. I'm pretty sure something's going to come through the door. Hide. a strange artifact. <laughs> I don't care. I really, really don't care. Are those bloody paw prints on the loading screen? Is that what I'm seeing? I've no idea what to expect. Hear the dogs. There's going to be dogs. The label says the crate contains dog food. Oh, lovely. What? Dark, isn't it? Echo! Echo! What? Kinda empty. Now this, this is what it's like to be me, buried deep within the cavernous expanse you call a mind. You see, this is what puts me in such a bad mood. We spend all this time messing about with door codes, levers, human appendages, and it turns out at the blink of an eye, I can just block it all out. 
Whoosh! Gone. Just you and me on some kind of messed up holiday. You think I can conjure up some margaritas? No? Shall we get the hell out of here then? Well, it's hardly better, but it, it is more interesting. Just. I hate you, Clarence. Sounds like something is crawling inside the walls. Okay. And I think it would be wise to go in there yet. Then let's not go in there yet. Why wouldn't it be... We've heard fucking weird shit going on. Before. Why is it suddenly such a bad idea? It's like the game's just giving you a fair warning that, hey, I'm gonna kill you if you step into here. Instant fucking death. I don't wanna fucking go look at those. There's gonna be some horrors in there. Bloody handprints all over the place. I think they're bloody. It looks like they're, they're so small. Are oh, those fucking children's handprints? Dogs. I hear barking. So fucking scared. What's this? Oh, oh no. Standard stuff. Yeah, I, I'd really call that standard stuff too. don't look so mutated, except for the teeth. But the dogs have teeth. I think I have to look inside. I really, really don't want to do this. Horrible. Yeah. Agreed. What the... F Fuck this is wrong with the kennels. And what the hell is up with this room? There was nothing here. A flare. No, that's not that's just blank. What is the point of this place? I just got the most massive headache. And my hate for Clarence was just cemented. Oh, God. The hair on my skin is just standing up. All over the... What 
the hell is that goo? This does not look like a good place to be. There's more of, more of those bloody paw prints all over the fucking place. Efficiency assessment is sanctioned by Elof Carpenter Elevated. Subject Wilbur Frisk, Chief Overseer, Shelter Research Station, Greenland. Report filed by Garrett Quinn. February 20th. My assessment of Frisk begins today. I've taken up station as his personal assistant and my report will run for six months. Since taking over control of the facility from Brent Stafferson in 1980, Frisk has turned up precious few results and I intend to discover why. March 5th. Having observed Frisk for two weeks, it seems my earlier assumptions may have been quite incorrect. He displays passion, efficiency, and above all, commitment to the cause. These qualities are ably demonstrated by his recent discovery of what is being called the Turngate Tomb. At the primary excavation, he has, of course, called for a full-scale investigation. April 28th. A small-scale epidemic has resulted from opening the, the tomb. This will be a perfect opportunity to fully observe Frisk's ability to deal with high-pressure scenarios. May 24, the epidemic has developed beyond all control. There have been many casualties and it's hard not to highlight Wilbur as the primary cause. June 13, Frisk has lost all control. While a number of survivors have fled and others have holed themselves up in the mess hall, Frisk has chosen to lock himself away in the kennels with the remaining dogs for protection. I've had no choice but to follow him here in order to complete my report. September, someday. I've lost sense of time, but Frisk seems to almost be enjoying himself. He's becoming very co close to the canines. Every day he leaves the compound to forage for food in the main base, which he then feeds to the animals, despite a number of them being infected. October. Frisk has developed some strange symptoms. He's becoming sensitive to light. The slightest light scares him away. He's also displaying almost animalistic tendencies. He's been digging out some of the walls and hiding behind them. Further, I suspect he may be sneaking out of the facility at night, possibly even into the mines. Some of the dogs have turned up dead. Entry 8. I've been observing Frisk for some time now, and I believe I can conclude my report. Frisk says, Frisk displays outstanding efficiency, though I am now forced to call his judgment in doubt. Despite plenty of rations remaining, I believe he may have begun eating the canines. Entry 9 When I woke this morning, there was a corpse lying on the floor beside me. I broke out the flashlight, fearful Frisk may have been savaged or taken his own life. As I did so, I could not help but see in the corner of my vision Frisk fleeing back into the shadows. The dead man was Dr. Roberts, a scientist I was sure had escaped into the mines at the first sign of the epidemic. This happened when... Is this the guy who... Had cut out his tongue? I think, was he called Roberts? And when I was down there, trying to get to him in the mines... Frisk... Came through the wall. It wasn't a worm, it was Frisk. Shut up, dogs. He had bite marks in his side and looked that have been dragged away. In addition, his tongue was missing. Yeah, this is the guy. I will continue to observe Frisk while taking additional security precautions. That was the last entry of him. Batteries on top. Circuits and other electric components. Okay. These don't seem important to me. Okay, so that's why I didn't want to go into that one room. Frisk is behind the walls. I think 
I don't know what I did. But now it seems there's electricity running. I'm not sure at all. I'll save here and I think I'll quit for today. I'm pretty much pretty much scared out of my fucking mind by this place. I don't want to go any further. Over and out. <laughs>